Hello beautiful people, welcome back again to my YouTube channel. I'm your girl Zafarani Membe Masha. If this is your first time to be here, karibu tena sana. Thank you so much for coming on board. Thank you so much for taking your time to watch my content. I don't take it for granted. Thank you so much for the love and support you've shown me since I started this journey of content creation. Karibu tena sana. Kindly like, share, comment down below, and subscribe to my YouTube channel. So without further ado, let's get to today's video. Today I'm going to talk about Tanzanian's best-selling female artist by the name Zuchu. We all know Zuchu is an artist signed under the Wasafi Classic Music label. She's the only best-selling female artist that we know who has been signed under this particular label. Zuchu's career started the year 2020. That's the year we got the opportunity and saw her release her first EP by the name I Am Zuchu. And the first track in that EP was Wana. Wana went to be one of the best and the most viewed songs from a female artist in Tanzania of all time. In Tanzania, we have many female artists, good songwriters, but since Zuchu is still signed under an influential recording label that pushes her music far and, and beyond, Zuchu has been able to get opportunities to perform in different countries here in Africa and far and wide. So why am I talking about Zuchu? Sit down, relax, and let me break it down for you. When Zuchu started out, she was the best-selling artist. I don't mean to say that she's not a best-selling artist. She is, and she'll always be, unless she leaves Wasafi. Why am I saying this? In Wasafi, resources are being put together. One has their particular manager and their music is well marketed. Zuchu is the only female artist in East Africa to break a record of having 100 million views on YouTube in a span of less than one year. As we speak now, Zuchu has a total of over 354 million views on YouTube. But my question is, do you think Zuchu is struggling with views? My own opinion is yes. And why am I talking this way? Because I took my time and I went through Zuchu's video. Every video she has done, every song she has done that's been uploaded by her management on her YouTube verified channel. And I must say, I came across a certain video she did at a performance in Tanzania. I think it was a day ago. It has 154,000 views. To me, this is shocking. To a top selling, a top selling female artist who has broken barriers in the entertain in the entertainment industry in Africa has 154,000 views in less than 24 hours. Why am I pushing this agenda? It's because Zuchu is a top selling artist. Don't say that there's a difference between a performance video and the official music video. One thing I'd also love to emphasize on is that Zuchu has a total of 2.14 million subscribers on her YouTube channel. Another thing is she released the official video for the song Jaro three weeks ago. It has 1.6 million views. To me, this video 
of this particular song is dragging down this particular video and song from Zuchu is struggling with views. Let's leave about streams aside. Views. Is Zuchu losing creativity? Is it time for Zuchu to bow out of the music scene? Or does she need a new creative and marketing team? I don't mean to say that Wasafi isn't doing the best it should on a best-selling artist like Zuchu. But the question is, if you've realized, we all love Zuchu. She has amazing content. But what's going on? She's a good performer on the stage. She's a good songwriter she has the best vocals when she performs live i give her a hundred and one percent zuchu is a great artist we've seen her re releasing projects like i am zuchu unplugged and zuchu unplugged Jaro does not deserve 1.6 million views in less than a month. One thing I'd like to emphasize on, music is strictly business. It's a career and business. Never take music for granted. I've seen Diamond dropping a song in less than 24 hours it's past the the 1 million mark but what is happening i don't understand what's really happening sijui zuchu what's up what's not happening actually sielewi hatuelewi jaro shouldn't be struggling 1.6 million views in in 3 weeks does it even make sense to you? In less than 24 hours, she performed in Tanzania. The performance, I gave it 100% top notch. Zuchu never fails to deliver a performance. She never, she never fails. Even when it comes to collaborations, Zuchu is the queen. She takes the throne anytime, any day. Her management should sit down and re-strategize how their own best-selling female artist should come up once again. And start claiming those views on YouTube. Jaro does not deserve such low views. So, what do you think as an art and entertainment fan? Kindly leave your comment down below. And don't forget to subscribe to Zafarani TV. Thank you for watching.